Hello everybody, this is Zach through 99 another brand new game that just came out hours ago here on Steam, about an hour ago I think. This is Vortex, the gateway. Actually it's been a couple hours since it actually launched on Steam. The first hour or so uh, after buying it, it downloaded like zero byte files. It just downloaded an empty folder. There was no actual game in the folder. Uh, and then the developer went in and kind of figured out what was going on and they got that fixed so we actually have the game now we can go ahead and give it a try i haven't even played this game one minute yet we're going to go ahead and discover this game together and you'll find out my reactions now this is the early access open world sandbox uh style survival and crafting game and uh right now it is only single player it's never going to be one of the big uh online games like rust or anything like that uh, they do have plans for maybe opening a two-player co-op uh, online kind of a deal here, but uh, think maybe more like the forest or something like that. This is more like going to be a, a single-player experience. So it is an early access. Well, a lot of features still planned for the game, but we're going to go ahead and find out what this game's about right now. I will be giving you my review at the end of the video. Uh, for my first experience of the game because they are charging money for it so I feel it's okay to go ahead and review a game in ver very early access if they want to charge money for it. Uh, so we'll be back to go ahead and play Vortex the Gateway right after this. All right, welcome back everybody. So as you can see, we can't continue a game. I haven't played a game yet. Uh, your options kind of come up. That's probably something that'll be implemented later into the main screen here. Uh, but you do have options when it first launches, like your resolution and, and that kind of thing. Uh, we have health, we have hydration, we have how well fed you are, spoon and knife, pretty uh, self-explanatory stamina here. Uh, heat, whether you're hot or cold and your backpack load and then you also have little indicators like if you're making noise or if you're hidden if you're in a warm place a cold place uh okay let's go ahead and jump into it see if this game looks like it's worth the money this game is 19.99 in american money us dollars it's on sale its first week for 25 percent off five bucks off 14.99 so Assume that these are some kind of wormholes or Einstein Rosen bridges. By definition, a wormhole is like a tunnel or gateway with two ends, each in separate points in space time. We've just got the news that there were spottings of some kind of. Hmm. Oh my god. All right. So something's going on on Earth. Help me! Wow. Oh no! Find a wormhole! <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find some kind of wormhole and go to a distant world while Earth is being invaded by aliens, it looks like. That's kind of what it sounds like to me. I did read something about as you play the game, as long as you survive, you kind of start getting kind of clues and hints about how the Earth is doing as you explore and try to survive on some alien world. So. Sounds pretty interesting, pretty, pretty clever, uh, creative, uh, you know, the story behind the game. Tells you right there that it is in development, alpha build, very early build. So an alpha is even earlier than like a beta. I know a lot of people have heard of, like, you know, a game's in beta. Well, alpha is even before that, so you can tell how early this game is. All right, so what are we doing here? I can move around. Okay. I thought I was up in the air at first. Okay. So it shows me what I can cut down. I can see that. 
with my knife. Uh, it kind of gives me indicators about what I can do. I can pick, what is that, food? That up with E. Large chips was picked up. There's me a machete. Okay, what's this? Instant meal. The hell is that? Oh. Extraterrestrials? Alien creatures have been spotted in the suburbs around the globe. A vast amount of people have vanished. Some never returned. Does the vortex have anything to do with these mysterious disappearances? Okay, how do I get rid of it? Escape? Uh, no. Continue game. F. Uh, how do I get rid of this dumb thing? E, F. Oh, just left click. Okay. Durr. What is this point at this? I think it's point at this. The heck? Stamina is running out now. Because I'm tired, I guess. Oh, I found a uh, lighter. Okay. Oh, I was chopping leaves off there. Okay. Large leaf. Cool. More leaves. Awesome. Alright. What's this over here? Juice? Juice box. I I don't know that I really like the. I mean, I like that they're trying to show you what you can do, but I wish it kind of takes away from the immersion to see all these little knives everywhere. Like, hey, you can cut this down if you want. Yeah, I I, I think you should be able to figure that out. So, my first advice or opinion or uh, suggestion to the developers is they get rid of the. Uh, Little indicators. Okay, I can see I'm cutting, cutting it. I think now, but I don't see anything lying on the ground there. What the heck? Oh, there we go. It's about to fall. There we go. We okay. Now I have to cut it up. Got it, and it's rolling. E. Uh. Rolling. Can I get it? E. E. Bamboo logs, huh? Now you can see I got a pile of them here. I can't, like, put them in my pocket or nothing, which is kind of realistic. Okay. And to set them down, you just left click. Okay. Stop rolling. Can't cut that. It would have a little indicator if I could cut that. It would have a little machete emblem. Oh, okay. So all the little indicators went away. Boy, the developers already listened to me. I'm just kidding. I think he's just showing you the first time you see stuff. Like, okay, yeah, you can cut this down. And then after I cut this stuff down, it'll disappear. The hell was that? What the hell was that? Where is it? Something went this way. Where did it go? There it is. There it is. What is that? Holy cow. Come here, you. I don't want to hurt you. Come here. Oh, two of them. Come here, little guy. Whoa, these things are going nuts. Can't say I blame them much, but a madman running around with a machete chasing them all over.
Wow, looks like I can climb this. It'd be cool if I could. Now, I don't think I can cut this down. It'd be kind of cheesy if I could cut this big old tree down with a machete. Where are you? Come here. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, I had a phone call and I just kind of sat here and watched this thing move back and forth to the right. Is that me coughing now? Maybe because I'm uh, underhydrated. Uh, boy, you run out of stamina and, and water really quick here. I can see that. <laughs> if this thing's just going to run back and forth here, stamina low can't perform that action. Uh, if I wasn't low on stamina, I should be able to hit this thing if you're just gonna run back and forth here, though. <coughs> you're thirsty, and I'm coughing. Great. <laughs> ah. How is that not hit? Oh, I hit him there, finally. I think I hit him. Yeah, I'm gonna... Probably gonna die of thirst here, I don't know. Poor little thing, squ squalling like it is. Oh, there's the first time I actually saw any blood. Ah. What do you have to do to hit this thing? Jesus. I hit it once out of like. Now it's running off, now it's gone. And I'm not gonna be able to keep up with it because of my low health here. Hey, well, at least it's bleeding. Come here, let me drink your blood, man. Okay, I have things in my inventory I should be able to use, though. Uh, I almost forgot about those. Alright, so drink it. There we go. Uh, sure. Eat this. And eat some chips. And... Object notes, backpack. Alright, so now my thirst is getting better, so that's good. Alright. Cool. Well, that helped. Now I gotta be finding some more water or something, though. I like the fog there. I mean, that looks pretty nice. The game world here actually looks pretty good, guys. I'm kind of liking this game. I mean, it, remember, guys, this is not online, so you're not going to come across other players. This is a this is a experience you're going to have by yourself, at least right now, with the potential of maybe having co-op, you and one other person. Which, I mean, that's cool. You could invite a friend in here or something like that, and... Uh, you know, you won't have people griefing you and, and uh, messing your game up. But on the other hand, you won't have the element of PvP or the, the challenge of that either. So a lot of people like myself kind of like that. Kind of like coming across other players. And, you know, you, it's, it don't matter how smart you make the AI of any monster in one of these games, it's never going to be, never ever going to be like what you would experience with other players. They're just, other players are always so unpredictable. You never know what those m MFers are going to do, you know? Look at that. Is that supposed to be Earth? Or is that the moon? I don't think I'm on the Earth. I think it said, you know, the portals or whatever took you away from the Earth. But it would be really cool if that was the Earth. But that looks more like the moon. Maybe you're in a far, far away galaxy. You can definitely see that uh, it has a day and night cycle. The moon comes up, it's huge. That moon, anyway, comes up, it's really huge. I like that. I mean, it gets really, really dark. Can I squat with control? Control doesn't help me squat. That's kind of weird. Let me look at the uh, 
Hmm. I don't see the... I don't see the... an ability to look at the keyboard layout. More mist or fog coming through. Maybe that means I'm getting close to water? That's another one of those squealers. What is this? Oh, don't tell me I found more juice. Did I? What is that? F. Oh, the E. I need to hit E, yeah. Large chips. Instant meal was picked up. Juice box. Yay. And what is this? Enormous. This is what is talking about the clues of what's going on back on Earth, I think. Enormous spaceships emerged from the vortex above the metro metropolis worldwide. Panic has spread through the countries. Okay. Metropolises. More clues? A bird egg, huh? I found a bird egg. Ooh, what's glowing over here? What is this? So far, this game's a pretty fun world to explore. I kind of like it. What is this here? Oil fruit? What the hell is oil fruit? Something I can eat? Huh. Oh, that is the Earth. Look at that. Look at that, guys. How cool is that? Look how huge that is. I think that is supposed to be the Earth. That looks so freaking cool. I just don't want to sit here in awe and like, watch this wor world come up right in front of us over this alien extraterrestrial terrain here. That is beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. There is a vortex. And this is how we're getting in this world, huh? How awesome is that, guys? This game is epic. This game is... Like, it might be buggy, and... I mean, the controls work good enough. I guess I'll see how I'm finding chip bags and fruit boxes and stuff like that kind of all over the place. That was freaking cool. That moment right there and this earth coming up right in front of us and just the layout of the terrain, how it looks all cool like this. I mean, this is, uh, what the hell is this? Anyway, this is freaking awesome. You know, I mean, it would be cool if it was online, but... I'm running out of energy, cutting all this crap down. What is this crap, anyway? A flame root torch. Do I really need 20 of them? Okay. Look back at my world again. Man, that's awesome. All right, so now, can we equip this or what? I have 30 out of 30 on my uh, encumbrance here. Crafting notes, you can craft a fence. Uh, item selected, I need more branches. I need a knife. Uh, oh, I set these bamboo logs. I had some, but I set them down. You can make fences out of that. You can make that kind of fence. You can make... Oh, it kind of tells you what you need here, too. That is really, really cool. A rack, scaffold, a tent, and a watchtower. Very nice. I mean, there's not a ton of stuff to craft, but you may learn more stuff as you actually uh, craft it. What is this? A bird egg. It's food. Eating it decreases hunger. It's also a component for crafting an, an antiviral mixture. So you obviously learn new stuff as you craft more and more, it looks like. Um, I need to hydrate again. Good thing I found that. Good thing I found this. Drink. Need to eat something. Chips should suffice me. Eat. And now I just need to get some uh, stamina back. Oh, I want to try. Uh, that's throw it away. I don't want to eat it. This is equip it, I guess. That's cool. 
Look at that, guys. How cool is that? I mean, the... Uh, the landforms there doesn't look like Earth. Maybe this isn't Earth, but maybe it's just some other random world going right in front of you. But whatever it is, it looks freaking badass. I actually jumped off a rock and didn't take damage. That's a good sign. Some of these early access survival games like that, you take like massive damage from falling off the the uh, slightest thing, slightest little jump. I like the footsteps, I like the sound it makes when you walk through the grass and on the terrain. Uh, there's another planet, that looks like the moon or whatever. I wonder if this is supposed to be the moon and this is supposed to be Earth. That's what my guess is. And we're kind of somewhere in the middle. Stays dark quite a while. What's it take to make a tent again? A tent is bamboo and what is it? Uh, oh, leaves. Okay. I can get that. He. The stick was picked up. A stick. I don't need sticks. I need... I need, uh... Man, that's awesome. Okay, I wonder if I'll take damage from this. That's a pretty good jump there. Nope, I'm okay. I need this crap, I think. No, not that. It's hard to see. Here we go. Bamboo. Making sound. You can see the sound in the bottom right. Who? What is that? Oh, that's going to be something coming to get me, huh? You coming to get me? Yep. It's coming after me. Damn. This is freaking bad. Badass, I mean. This is cool. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd you go, you little bastard? Boy, maybe you want to stay quiet and dark. Maybe I want to wait until it's daylight to uh, start hacking at stuff. That was cool. Alright. Meteor, probably. I have no idea where I'm at now. I mean, no idea. Okay, I ain't jumping up on that, that's for sure. Ooh, what is this? What is this? I check this crap out. The hell is this? Wow. Hello, Earth. Or whatever you are. Dissolved in the inventory flame root torch. A health flower was picked up. Well, I might need that, especially if I find another one of those things. Can I hack at this? I don't think I can hack at this, can I? Nope. Maybe that tells you where a health flower is at. Who knows? Huh. Alright. Boy, I like the sounds of the crickets, too. Kind of adds a little bit of spookiness to it. I'm liking this game, guys. I really am. Nope, I can't hack that down, I don't think. I need to fam find bamboo here. See how when I hack at it, you see the sound in the bottom right, the ear? Fall. Oh, that's cool. I broke. It broke all by itself, so I don't have to hack it all up. That's awesome. All right, what else do I need to make a uh, tent? Let's go ahead and make a tent right, right here somewhere. I want to see what that looks like. And then I'm going to be... Uh, drop bamboo logs, and of course they're rolling down the hill. So the physics work pretty good. Uh, light's coming up. Where's the light coming from? Look at the rays of light shining through the trees. That's pretty awesome as well. Where's the sun? I want to see the sun. Alright, so where are those big leaves at? I don't remember where I 
and got those big leaves out. Was it here? I think it was from these things. Yep. Okay. Pick up some of these leaves here. No free space in inventory, okay? Uh, oh, I have eight of them already. Okay, that should be enough. All right, get out of inventory. Let's go see if we can make a tent. I think that's all it took was. Where do my, where do my little bamboo logs go? I think they were over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. All right, so E, E, probably have to have them on me, I'm guessing. And then come here. Can I make a tent now? Uh, items needed. Oh, I need one more bamboo log. Damn it. Okay, cool. Alright, so. Uh, click, click, click. There's only three there. So we need one more, you bad boys. Cut. Come on. I'm getting tired. I'm getting thirsty again. Damn, you have to drink a lot of crap in this game. Okay. Just need one of you. Just need one of you. And then come down here. Alright. Did I get them all? Okay. No free space for another log. Well, can I craft what I need now? Let's see. Uh, I only got three still. All right, well then I'll eat my egg. I don't know. Eat. Now can I pick this thing up? Nope. No free space for another log. Well, I'll eat this then. <coughs> And I don't have any more water, that's why I'm coughing, I think. What's this? Oil fruit. It burns for a long time. I can't eat that crap. Alright. No free space for another log. Uh, well, poop. How do I... How do I craft something when it requires... I need eight of these. I only have three. It says eight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How am I ever going to put eight of these things in my inventory? I need four of these. I have eight. Uh, crap. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I go to craft it. it. Tells me I have zero. Hmm. Well, I need to find some water at this point. You are thirsty. Well guys, I'm playing a little bit later. I wasn't able to craft my tent because I wasn't able to carry the required eight bamboo logs. Uh, and I had to start looking for something to drink. Because Here we go. Is this water? <coughs> drink, buddy. Can't get nothing here. Well, don't tell me I'm gonna die of thirst when I'm right in water. The hell is this? Wow. That's kind of pretty. Can't perform. What's this? Is this where I drink from? Water fruit. There we go. Tab. Uh, you, it's a drink. There we go. 
So now you know what you got to do to get, uh, you need these kind of things. So water, and it looks like they grow around water, so, uh, I don't need any more now. One fills you up completely. What's this? The hell is this? Night vision flower was picked up, huh? Okay. Wow. I like the colorful, uh... I like the colorful things that you can find in this game. That is really, really, uh, really, really vibrant and adds a lot to this game. I think that, I think I'm going to be playing this game quite a bit, guys. Uh, early access, I, I do look forward to it. Uh, going to a point where you can play with a friend, I think that'll be really awesome. Uh, the graphics are great. I'm going to go ahead and give this game a score right now. I would need to play this game a lot more, though. I really want to kill some animals and like build a fire and build a hut and a tent and all that good stuff. Uh, but uh, this score could change drastically as I play this game more and as I see some of the game flaws and you know maybe game breaking uh, bugs or immersion breakers. But uh, right now I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I, I got to admit. I mean. This is this is a fun world to explore. Uh, I love the graphics. I love how the Earth came up at night. It looks here like I have. Wow! Look at this. Oh crap! Oh no! What a way to end the game. This guy's gonna kill me. I can tell you that right now. But this is freaking awesome. At some point, maybe I'll be able to kill this guy. Uh, two of them on me now. Wow! Look at that, guys. My health is halfway done. I would just want to kill one of these badasses. Boy, this shows you you do definitely have a danger level. Can I outrun them, I wonder? I'm going to try to get out of here with my life. And see if they chase me. Are they chasing me or what? Let's take a look. Yep, they are definitely chasing me. Okay. Wow. That definitely adds a challenge to the game. This game is fun as hell, people. I was about ready to go ahead and start scoring this game, and now I got that. I think that's only going to increase my score. I, I love a challenge to these kind of games. Uh, any of you guys that like the game The Forest, I think you guys are going to feel right at home in this game. Uh, if you love The Forest, you got to go out and get this game. Uh, I think this is going to be a really, really popular game once people see... Uh, you know, once people see what this game has to offer. Uh, right now in early access, this game is, is tight. This game is really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the hell out of this game. I mean, look at this. You got heels, you got uh, trees, all the different kinds of trees, leaves, uh, sticks, resources. You got uh, really vibrant, colorful, uh, you know, water fruit and different kinds of fruits and and you see spaceships come and drop people onto the world from your world the portals or whatever i mean this game is awesome people absolutely okay i think that's where we were before because the fruit thing was already gone and i can hear this guy behind me i know he's still behind me what the hell is this i gotta see what this is oh that's more of that oil fruit or whatever and i'm about dead but i'm just gonna go ahead and Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Wow, look at that guy. The journey ends here. Game over. Health dropped to zero. Oh, you can hear him eating me. Wow. That is cool. All right. That was freaking cool, guys. So, I don't know if it's loading or what. I went ahead and hit new game. Now it says game over. But that might be a bug. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. But I want to go ahead and score this game right now, guys. Any of you guys that like the forest from the summer that came out in early access in the summer of 2014, uh, I think you're going to love this game. This game is well worth the money already. I can tell you that. I'm going to be putting some time into this game. I really like it. Uh, Vortex, the gateway. Let's go ahead and give this game a review based on what I've experienced so far. I think this game, it is loading, by the way. Uh, I think this game is worth the money right now. I think it looks really, really fun. Big world to explore, it looks like. Well, I don't know how big it is, but uh, a lot of different uh, types of terrain. Uh, you got, you saw the bad guys there that you're going to be facing. Uh, you saw creatures running from you that you can kill. Obviously, they may not have the best AI in the world, but still, I think this game is going to offer you quite a bit of fun. So, 
A value for $14.99 in early access to see this game only get better as they develop it more? Absolutely. Value on this game, I'm going to go ahead and give a $14.99 right now, $19.99 regular price. Uh, the same price you play for like the Forest or, or a lot of these games like this. I think the value is up there, guys. I mean, it's not online, but at some point they're going to add a two-player online co-op. That'll be fun. So, I'm going to go ahead and give the value on this game a 37 out of 40. Real high. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and give the fun factor on this game out of 30 points. Another big... Uh, you know, big criteria that I uh, base games on. How much fun is the game to play? Right now, I'm having a blast. This game's fun, really fun. So out of 30 points, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 27. So uh, 37 and 27 so far. And then the next criteria that I have is controls and bugs. Well, there is a few bugs, a few little bugs. I mean, the controls work pretty good. However, though, so uh, for early access, I mean, it's pretty damn impressive. To be honest with you, I like how it actually shows you the indicators of what you can cut down, but then that kind of goes away after it, you know, after you hack at it or whatever, then you then you don't see that anymore. Uh, so that's a really nice feature. Uh, this game is really impressive for for early access. I'm not even going to take many points away for controls and bugs because for the most part, it controls really really well. And I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and give that an 18 out of 20. And then the only other uh, criteria here is graphics and sound. The graphics are, as I've already stated, very impressive. You got the earth coming up or the world coming up, the moon. Uh, you saw the creatures that attacked me. They looked really good. You see the other wildlife. You see the trees and the vibrant graphics and, and everything like that. Graphics gets a 10 on this one. So uh, if you add that all up, guys, this is a very, imp very impressive early access game. Let me make sure my scoring is right here. 37. Uh, on the uh, value 27 out of 30 for fun and then I gave it an 18 uh, for controls and bugs and then I gave this a 10 all day long on graphics and sound uh, that's an impressive very impressive score for an early access survival game like this my score based on my first experience playing this game is a very very high score for an early access survival game we know how many of these games are actually good and how many of these games are launched on steam uh not that many of them are this good especially this early in alpha 92 out of 100 for vortex the gateway i think this game is going to rise really quickly to the top of the charts i know i said that about the uh fire and the flood or whatever though i thought that game was going to rise quickly but I know how much people love these crafting and survival games like this. Uh, I know how popular uh, The Forest was. And I think this game might even be better than The Forest. Uh, it looks that good. I think the graphics are better. Uh, I think this is a more uh, engaging kind of survival game where there's more resources. more. I just, I just think this game looks better than The Forest. I think this game is going to rise very quickly to the top of the charts on Steam once people see these videos being put out and once people actually get the word of mouth going about how good this game is and how much fun it is to play already. 92 out of 100. I'm sure I'll be back with more of this game uh, here in the near future. want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. Be sure you leave in the comments down below. Let me know if this video has helped you guys make a decision on going out and purchasing this game. If you watch this video and you decided to go buy the Vortex on Steam, click the link down below in my description to get there. But please be sure you leave me a comment and say hey thanks Zaxter for uh, you know putting this video out uh, it made me decide to go get this game I'd love to know and be sure you rate this video guys as well uh, I'd certainly like look like those ratings be sure you subscribe to me so that you get all my content like these indie games we've never heard of and I think we discovered another good one right here with uh, Vortex the Gateway thanks so much for watching everybody this has been Zaxter99 and again my first day in early access score for the Vortex, the Gateway, a very impressive 92 out of 100. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.